That's right. One of the one of the beauties of the robo drill is the reliability and the turret itself and the tool changes. Fanuc tests and has a reliability center and they test those turret tool changes extensively. The number that they throw at us, which is true, is their duty cycle is five million tool changes before they need preventative maintenance, which is amazing. Hello my friends and welcome back to MTD CNC. We always appreciate you joining us for these shows to learn a little bit more about the technology that we present. As you can see today, I'm standing in front of some robo drills by Fanuc and I'm standing with my buddy Kevin. You might recognize his face if you've been watching this channel because this is, I don't even know, half a dozen videos. He's famous at this point, I think. But we have some new ideas we want to bring up when it comes to the robo drill and the Fanuc line. We know about its speed, we know about its reliability, we know about the capability to take a program from a 40 taper machine, put it onto a robo drill without changing any other specs and reduce cycle times by 30 or 40 percent. Yes, I've seen that in person. Absolutely incredible because it's just the speed of the machine. We've also talked about the fact that you can now cut harder materials as, or at least the awareness that we maybe didn't know about before. It was always able to cut it, but the ability to cut the harder materials, the steels with a 30 taper big plus spindle, which is important to understand instead of just the softer materials, it's the harder materials as well. Kevin is here to talk about some really cool technology about the robo drill, and then we're gonna focus a little bit on the reliability, and we're gonna start there. Kevin, let's talk about the reliability of the robo drill, because I know you've run a lot of tests on how many tool changes can be implemented without any kind of worry or hesitation, right? That's right. One of the one of the beauties of the robo drill is the reliability and the turret itself and the tool changes. Fanuc tests and has a reliability center and they test those turret tool changes extensively. The number that they throw at us, which is true, is their duty cycle is five million tool changes before they need preventative maintenance, which is amazing. We've been to the factory, we've seen it. It's an impressive facility. And five million duty, duty cycle changes is really, really impressive. So that spindle taper wear is the most important thing that we're talking about for this discussion. Obviously that wear is going to lose precision, it's going to create vibration, it's going to, you're going to probably hear it when the machine spindle is spinning because the robo drill has a great RPM as well. When I'm thinking about that also, and I'm wondering about the wear and tear on the machine spindle itself, I have to think about well, if we're at 5 million, and this machine, when I see the tool change here, one of the fastest, if not the fastest on the planet. Yep. So it's not slowing itself down in order to create this reliability. It can still go super fast and still not have that wear and tear we're talking about, right? That's true. In the automotive space, it's specifically important. These guys in the automotive world, it's all about how many parts and how fast. With the robo drill in this advanced model, it has a servo-driven tool, a servo-driven turret. So the tool changes have its own servo, servo motor these things really don't break down and they won't wear even at that, that duty cycle in the automotive space, cutting cast iron, cutting harder materials, they just don't break down. Uh, they're a fantastic machine and really reliable. You know, I love when a conversation compounds itself. The fact we brought it up with the flexibility and the machining of yep. steel, and now we're talking about the wear and tear, and there's still no wear and tear that goes along with it for, you know, what feels like an infinite amount of time, even though nothing's infinite these days. True. But the reliability is there. Now, I know you want to discuss a little bit about the software as well, the interface, because it is discussionably the most popular software on the planet. We see it everywhere on not obviously not just Fanuc machines but on machines throughout the industry so people are quite familiar. Would you like to broaden that horizon on that conversation? Sure. I think what people know is that Fanuc has is the world leader in control manufacturer period. They make the back end of most controls of most machine tool builders in the world and their back end is sitting in front of a bunch of other user interfaces for other machine tool builders and the reason that is because the FANUC control is the most reliable, it's got great processing speed and it's got great flexibility. The big deal with the FANUC control and the robo drill is they're focused on what the user experience and the user interface looks like. They've really made it easy, icon driven, the new IHMI side of the control is really intuitive. You don't have to be a legacy programmer to understand how to use it. It has some app icons, it's really user friendly. They've just done a great job with the user interface, for sure. Yeah, the upgraded software that I've noticed, it's almost like using an iPhone or mm -hmm. a smartphone, yep. which isn't that the way, in my opinion, we should all kind of adapt because we're so familiar with the way that works now. It's become globally yeah. famous, globally popular. So if what we're doing is trying to invite the next generation of engineers and manufacturers in, shouldn't we make that transition pretty easily and easy and user-friendly as well? 
We should, especially with the workforce kind of labor shortage we're looking at. We need to make this industry easy for people ad to adapt to. So younger engineers, younger machine operators, younger technicians, they want that icon-driven, app-focused, user-friendly experience. And they want can cycles, they want some standard programming features, some automatic G-codes already written into the machine. And that's what Fanuc is doing. They're on the leading, bleeding edge of that stuff. They're, some of their new software deployments for, for some of their can cycles are excellent. And it, it's all icon-driven. So really, they're driving it that way for sure. Yeah, I agree. And I'm starting to see a common theme here between reliability and flexibility, right? We've yeah. started at the beginning. We're walking through it. Something else I want to bring up that I think you want to talk about as well is the fact that this Fanuc talking to Fanuc, and as I look around, there's also cobots and robots that are Fanuc as well. So it's really the same conversational piece going on from one part to the next part to the next part, and that adds to that flexibility and reliability as well, doesn't it? It does. The big benefit with Fanuc products is that they make a wide suite of, of products. They make robots, DTT tables, DDR tables, they make their controls, and the robo drill. So Fanuc and the servos and drives. So Fanuc is connecting all of those for the user experience to be seamless. When, they pull, when we plug in a robot to a robo drill, it's just an ethernet cable. It communicates through Fanuc Focus. We use Fanuc Picture behind in the software. And the Fanuc DDR tables are all made by Fanuc, obviously, and they're easily integrated. The control knows that the DDR is sitting on the machine when you plug it in. It's ready to go. It starts to set parameters. It's smart and it knows that it's a FANUC product that you're using, and that's, that integration makes it so much more seamless for the end user to add features, to add options. If they want to expand into automation, it's really easy for them to sort of plug and play. And I won't keep you too much longer, Kevin, but I'd like to talk a little bit more about the automation side of things. We've both been to Michigan. We know what that yep. facility is like. We understand the capability that FANUC has to implement automation at a pretty easy capacity or capability, right? So when I also look around, we know that automation is now taking over the U.S. And it's been a, a big thought for years, but recently it has really taken off and we've now started to focus on that reshoring of a lot of companies. So uh, what I want to convey now through you, Kevin, is the ease of implementation through automation with robo drills and the cobots and the robots through FANUC and the methods team that go along with the service and support to make sure that someone is comfortable if this is the first time that they're talking about automation. That's a good point and what we do at Methods is with, we work with FANUC to make those integrated solutions as easy as possible. And then we take it one step further to make it standard. We try to standardize automation and not make it custom. Today the customer doesn't want that automation experience to be a heavy lift and have tons of engineering involved around it. They want it yesterday and they want it to work. So by integrating the FANUC products together with the robot, the control, the robo drill, the servo motors and drives, all being FANUC products, then we push that into the standard automation solutions with, that Methods offers, plus K60, plus E, Job Shop Cell Pro or our standard offerings off the shelf. That really makes that experience easier for the customer. Basically your part needs to be a football size or smaller, right? If it, the robot payload can handle it, we can automate it and we can make it a standard product. And that's what we're evolving to so that you don't have to be a robot expert, a controls expert. If you know how to use the FANUC robot drill and you know how to use the, the control, you can operate one of our standard automation solutions and that's what the customers love about our automation product. I love it as well. So when I'm talking here, I always try to keep these conversations somewhat short because I want to keep your attention for the audience as well. But I just keep thinking of ideas that we need to discuss. And I love talking with you, Kevin. And something I want to bring up based on the confidence for the customers right now is the fact that you guys have a state-of-the-art precision center and you have a turnkey center in Chicago that is massive with inventory, both on the East Coast, Midwest, and you're growing now and getting ready to launch a Texas facility. And here today, we're in Arizona, and this facility, is incredible with all the customers that have come through as well. What I'm trying to say is turnkey situations, precision centers, allow for that additional confidence. As you mentioned, we want it yesterday, right? So now your customers can go, we want to do this, prove it for me first, and you guys are able to do that. And then as soon as it hits the floor, it's ready to go. Right, we deliver solutions that, have, that are proven to work. 
in our precision centers, we like to run those custom solutions off, even the standard solutions off, get them bulletproof, and then send them to the customer. We have the facilities and the infrastructure to do it, and more importantly, we have the support and the expertise on the engineering side to help the customer get over that initial hurdle, especially if it's their first one. That's a big lift for a customer, and we really make that experience seamless. We really make it easy for them, and we support them through that whole journey, and it really comes through because customers come back and they ask for a second one, their customers are happy because they're produce, producing better parts, better quality, and faster. And we get the second order, we get the third order, we get people coming back for more automation. And that's a true testament to what we're doing around the country. A true testament around the country, second order, third order. We started out with talking about the ability to cut harder materials, the flexibility, the adaptation of the robots and cobots, the simplicity of use, the fact that FANUC software is arguably or discussionably the most popular on the planet. Just trying to convey the message to all of you watching that this might be something worth looking into. Kevin would say it's definitely something worth looking into. Absolutely. And as a Switzerland channel, we always like to provide this information for you. Kevin, absolutely, right? Absolutely, you got it. Absolutely. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate your time. I hope you've learned as much as I have today from my buddy Kevin here, and we'll see you again soon, Kevin. Always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. Thank you.